All right, welcome back to a new walkthrough. We're going to be doing a walkthrough for War of the North, Lord of the Rings. I really, really enjoyed this game. Um, so it's something I wanted to do because I've always wanted to do this, and I thought, why not do it for Lord of the Rings? So um, first off, right off the bat, we're picking the Ranger because I personally enjoy the Ranger more. Uh, I haven't really dwelled into with the uh, Dwarf or the Elf, but... Um, at the part I'm on right now, actually, I think I'm going to have to end up choosing one of them because the ranger doesn't seem to be able to cut it. Uh, Lord of the Rings is, um, like I said in the review, or the the first impression, is pretty much like a mashup of uh, Fallout 3, Mass Effect 3, or 2. I would give it that idea just because I think it's a very pop those are popular games, and I think, you know, most people will, will know. Um, in this first part, obviously, it's the intro, uh, so you're going to see a lot of the movie. It, it's taking place in between, well, I guess I'll wait till it to show and then I'll say it, but, um, yeah, uh, what I found is it is doing a lot of the, um, you know, decision, it, not a lot, it doesn't, so far it hasn't done it a lot, I should say, but you do get to choose what to say, but the way, I, I mean, to me, I feel like no matter what you say, it would still take you in the direction you're supposed to go, which I personally don't mind. I know, like, with Mass Effect 3, 1 or 2, I'm excited for 3 if you can't tell. Mass Effect 2, one of the great things was you got to choose, and it literally would change the story play. I, I mean, um, you know, when you're choosing between, you know, either saving someone or letting them die, it'll affect the entire game. I don't know if that has happened here. You know, this is my first playthrough, so... I don't know if it's going to change, but from what I've seen, kind of the choices that you do have to make, it's really not going to take you too off course. The most part, though, for the most part, it's it's just I've been having a blast playing. Um, I am a little bit of a Lord of the Rings fanboy, but uh, there's been a couple games where I didn't enjoy, but this one so far has pretty much excited me as far as being able to play it straight through. I haven't. The parts that frustrate me actually only make me want to play it more to beat to beat it. You know, uh, there's some games where you get frustrated and you just like, oh, this waste of time. But um, you know, this game actually keeps me interested at least. I mean, I'm sure if you are a fan of Lord of the Rings or even you know this type of gameplay. I know Skyrim just came out. I'm from what I read, uh, reading uh, from an article from Geek.com, and it was saying you know they were talking to the to the directors and writers of the game. They're saying this could take you a lifetime to beat. There's that many choices and side quests, and that's great for some. But for me, it's like there's too many games that I want to play that I can't just focus all my energy on one. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 for me, this is this is a good enough game to scratch the itch, keep me occupied. Um, and play for a while. I've been playing, like I said, and I've been having a blast. So this first part, what you're doing is, you know, you're learning from the ranger, Argon, uh, that, uh, I won't, I won't say it like that again, I'm sorry. Uh, you're learning from the ranger, basically, what's going on. There's this evil lord who is trying to go, um, what am I saying? Oh, yeah, he's trying to go, and he's he's going toward. He's basically an agent of the the what are the Death Walkers, right? I can't remember. Um, and so your job is, as of right now, is to try to stop him. You're basically the middle part of the Lord of the Rings story, and the, you know, Aragorn is waiting for Aragorn is waiting for uh, Frodo, and you're now on your own quest to to you know take basically take out this evil lord. Um, this first part is pretty much all movie, all intro, uh, explaining the story, but it's great cinematics, uh, so it makes it fun, the graphics are good, um, and everything's being explained to you here, so let me just see, let me, let me quiet for a little bit so you can hear a little bit here. why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much. Now, one issue I, I kind of had... Well, actually, no, it's not an issue. Um, you know, when I was playing this game, one thing I kind of didn't like is... is in this, I personally enjoy button-mashing type games, you know, not too much thinking. Um, and that's what this is, but it kind of gets tiresome because, you know, I mean, it's great because they have tons of, of, of enemies coming at you. But like, especially in the beginning when you haven't leveled up or nothing, you're basically just pressing uh, Y or X a lot, depending on your choice, and um, it kind of can get a little, little tiresome. But for the most part, it's it's 
it's fun, I guess. I mean, and like I said, for me, it's it's I I didn't really realize about the leveling up. I didn't really pay attention. I just thought, oh, I'm gonna play the game. I should have because I, apparently I could have <laughs> could have leveled up quite a bit, and it would probably help me with the place where I'm at now. But uh, I didn't, so I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I should kind of restart so I can level up right or something. Because <laughs> uh, there's there's things that I'm like, man, this is very hard. And I know if I had leveled up right, I, I would have been good. So here you're at Bree, uh, and you're starting your quest. Um, basically, there's nothing really going on here. I'm going to talk to a, a blacksmith He's, um, to fix my sword. This is an area you can always go back to. Um, basically, it's kind of like your safe, your safe housing, at least for right now. You're able to, like I said, either talk with a blacksmith and, and he can fix anything you want. Here, uh, you can see the different things that I have there. And, uh, basically, yeah, this is, this is going to be me talking to a blacksmith. Something I think you, you should avoid when you first start the game. <laughs> There's no reason to. Hello there. Ranger are you? Let me guess. You've sprung some river to bust a blade out there roaming about the wild. He's gonna ask you, you want me to fix your sword? Right no, I don't want you to fix your sword, but I put yes. I just wanted to see what would happen. But yeah, here we go. We're gonna start the adventure now. And this video is gonna be short because the next video is going to be a little longer, probably about 11 minutes or so. It has to be under the 15, but this was pretty much all movie. That's why I didn't wanna, you know do it too long because then it's going to get into the gameplay and then it's like oh but uh basically like i was saying this game if you haven't gotten it if you maybe you have a, you know like a game flyer or blockbuster pass or something i would definitely suggest for you to rent it i rented it and i went actually and I, I purchased the game because to me that's what really got me hooked into it i started playing it i got really deep into it and i thought i want to keep playing i want to I find out what's going to happen with these characters so it actually made me go out and buy it um, so if it's something that you enjoy, I think you definitely should buy. But we're going to stop right here, and I will see you for the next video. Thank you for watching.